give him a sh can you wrist a shuffle? Should we use my hand? Yeah. Right? Less of them. Don't tell me what it is. And then shuffle those cards into the deck. Destroying okay. any sort of way that I could try and backtrack. You're thinking of a card now, and there's literally no way that I can know it. No. One prediction in my pocket from the very beginning. Go ahead and turn it around. Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I shuffled them, I cut it. Yes. You could have known what cards I had in my mm -hmm. hands. <laughs> so I use this trick to fool magicians. Um, well, it's mainly. definitely 100% because me. Very clever. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fooler and Lloyd. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you something which, on its surface, is incredibly simple. All right? Okay. So we're going to take the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, give him, oops, I'm going to throw it on the floor. Deck. Give him a sh Can you riffle shuffle? No, probably not. Try and give him a riffle shuffle. Oh, God. <laughs> so you can use the table. If you can do it, if you can do it at the table, even better. But If I can it. do it that... Oh, see? Nah. Nearly. Nearly, nearly. Three my hand. Oh, mate. Okay. From an overhand bad. shuffle. That was bad. That was pretty good. I can't believe you didn't comment on that. That was, that was not bad. That was not bad. Thank you. Okay, happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's cool. Very new. Um, yeah, it's a new pack. What I want to do is just cut off uh, about like, I don't know, 10, 15 cards from the top of the deck. Right. I'm going to turn my back and put the rest of the deck down. Okay. And then shuffle those cards up. Okay, this is even harder because there's like less of them. Good, happy. Why, why, I don't know why I'm doing a little bump. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything, so I don't know what, okay. what's going on. Okay, you're going to create a playing card in your mind now, and the cards that you've shuffled and dealt to yourself are going to help you make decisions. All right? All right. So the first decision is really simple. You're going to look at the top card. Yeah. If it's a red card, you're going to create eventually uh, a number card, all right? If it's a black card, you'll eventually create a picture card. Does that make sense? Okay. So have a look at it. Don't tell me what it is. Again, if it's a red card, yeah. this will be a number. If it's a black card, you're going to create a picture. Right. And then put that to the bottom. Right. Okay? So you now know which direction you're going to go in. Yeah. Okay. Cool? Yeah. The next card, mm -hmm. turn it over. Now, if it's red, and if you are going to be creating a number card, if it's red, make it an odd card. And if it's black, make it an even card. But if you need to create a picture card, then if it's red, make it a male card. And if it's black, make it a female card. Right. Okay? Okay. Probably the trickiest step in all this. And put yeah. that to the bottom. <laughs> I'm following, I'm following. Put that to the bottom. Good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then finally, uh, the last card will either be, again, red or black. And depending on if it's red, make the card a red suit, and if it's black, make it a black suit. Okay. Good? Mm. And then shuffle those up. And then shuffle those cards into the deck, destroying okay. any sort of way that I could try and backtrack each choice that you've made throughout this process. Okay. Right. Good? Mm. Fair? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. So depending on whichever circumstances and outcomes you've had for each card in the deck, mm -hmm. literally, you can create any card from, from those choices, right? It could be a number card or a picture card. Yeah. It could be odd, even, male, female, and it could be clubs, hearts, diamonds, spades. Yeah. Before we began, I placed the prediction in my front jeans pocket. Ooh, I like this. You're thinking of a card now, and there's literally no way that mm -hmm. I can know what it is. No. For the first time, tell everybody at home what that card is. Oh, I'm scared. The Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades? I don't even want to do it. Look, reach in to my pocket. Why are you down there? <laughs> <laughs> Can't find it. <laughs> I've got the card, guys. Okay, don't look at it yet. Hold it up. One card. And let's just think about this. You shuffle that deck profusely, mm -hmm. right? You riffle shuffled. Terribly. I did a terrible riffle shuffle there. You did. You overhand shuffled as many times as you wanted. Then you took off a lot of cards. You shuffled those. Then you decided whether it's going to be a number card. So this would be like a number because it's red. Yeah. Then it would have been um, an even one. Yeah, because so it's like black. A two, four, six, eight, ten. 
and then the red would be a suit. So you could have created like a six of diamonds, could it be the case, or whatever, anything you wanted. You thought of one card. The Queen of Spades. There's one prediction in my pocket from the very beginning. Go ahead and turn it around. <laughs> that is good. Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. Be quiet. Be quiet. Right. <laughs> it's just me working it out. <laughs> Terribly. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I literally don't know. I shuffled them, I cut it. Yes. You could have known what cards I had in my mm -hmm. hands. <laughs> so I use this trick to fool magicians. Um, well, it's mainly. definitely 100% because me. the only ways that, like, if, if you were in, your, in a magician's head, they would go, like, right, is it a stack? Well, no, shuffle, cut, shuffle again. Yeah. D different ways of shuffling. Uh, could you know what cards I have in my hand? So know that I have like two reds and a black or whatever. But I didn't even know. Yeah, I I, I didn't know. And uh, then, yeah, so it's so, so all, all from the... It was amazing. That was amazing. And to have the prediction already when I hadn't even made the card. Yes. Like I could have been looking at yeah. reds going, right, I'm looking at a, a not a picture card, a, a number card. Yeah. I'm gonna. T I'm actually gonna t tell you the secret in a minute. And if anyone that's on my Patreon already, you can go ahead and learn this on there right now. The video just dropped today. I don't mind. I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest. And then fooled. Yeah, completely fooled. I have no idea. Other than they're all the same card, but then at the end you spread them. So no, you can. It's a. It's a regular deck. Yeah. It's a literally a regular deck. Do you want to see the method If first? the secret is good enough, yeah. Okay, right. So everyone at home, you're not going to see the secret here. But uh, I am. Everyone that's a member of my Patreon, the link's in the description below and it's on screen. You can go and learn this right now. Go and do it. That's um, good. <laughs> but I'm going to teach you the method. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. It's very clever. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now you cut some. That is clever. And then I say... That's really and then... clever to be... A, that's like a really quick trick. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> you could do that. You could literally do that. You could do that. You could literally do that. The beauty of this is once you know the secret and you understand the principle the of process it. process of it, yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. It's done you can, itself. You can do it, it in many different ways. It Yeah. It's really self-working, isn't it? Yeah, it's really self-working. That's <laughs> very clever. Right, now if me. I'm sure, oh. I'm sure tricks like it have been done before, but this, because uh, there's, there's literally nothing new about it, but this handling, the way of just being able to say, here, take a deck, shuffle it, take as many cards you want, shuffle them, mm. blah, 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 make decisions, and to have the prediction out ahead of time as well. Yeah, that, that, that threw me, having had the prediction in there, because if I, if you were going to guess the card and say, oh, I think it's a whatever, it would have been a bit more like, no. Nah. You yeah. could have done something, you could have peeked it, you could have, like, there's, n you haven't, and when you hand me that deck, that deck is in my hands, and I shuffle it, I ruffle shuffle yeah. it, I sh overhand shuffle it, I pick the cards. So it's all, and I make the decisions in my head that nobody else, he, they, they didn't even see. Like, I lifted it and didn't show them what oh, I was, no. Oh, cool. So oh. nobody saw. No, only me. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Way more clever now that I know. Yeah. Way more clever now than I know. It's really clever. Thanks. Really clever. <laughs> Not like you at all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, if you'd like to learn this trick, plus over 25 more exclusive Patreon only tricks, which are my best works that will never be shared on YouTube, head over to patreon.com forward slash Lloyd B, and you can learn all of them right now. But until next week, folks, I've been Lloyd. I've been Kay. We'll see you in another episode of Fooler. Ha <laughs> ha